This tutorial shows how you can use and add an image to a flat object within Fusion 360. First, select Insert and Canvas and select the JPEG that you want to use as the basis of your image. Now select the plane that you want that image to be on. Then click OK. Now right click on Browser Canvases the image and go to Edit Canvas and you can move around the image, you can resize it. There we go, and I'm going to the side that the image will be on and I want to move it and I want to flip it across because I want the image facing the other way and then click OK. Then go to Solid, Create Sketch and select the plane or the back of the, Im the object that you want to put the image on. Then go up to sketch and fit point to spline, fit point to spline, and then just trace around the image. I'm using I'm using a spline, but you can use a line. When you get a sharp corner, it's best to stop that image, that spline, and then start again. That gives you a nice sharp corner. But for this logo, it's quite simple. And click and I'm, all I'm doing is tracing around the image. You can adjust the corners so by dragging the points and then I've now created one outline. Now I'm going to do the inside because I want this to be a fat line drawing of the object. Always make sure that the start and end points match up as you need to have a solid shape for this to work. So some minor adjustments and then going in and finishing off the shape. There we go. And when you're happy just click on the finish sketch. And now I'm able to select that image that I have the um, sketch and then I want to extrude it to a negative value so it cuts away from the previous object so I'm just going to do minus one minus one millimeter there we go and move it around and you can see it I found that minor, um, one millimeter was too big so I did go back and change that to 0 0.6 millimeters later on yeah, once you go to browser, canvases hide, you can have a better look at the image and that looks good. So when you're happy with that image, you can export it by going up to the component, right click and do save as STL. And then we can save that to whatever we want to call it. Open up your slicing software and import the STL you just saved. Now you're able to slice that object as required. And then in Presser Slicer, which is what I'm using, it's easy to add in filament changes. So drag the side bit, select the level you want and hit the plus sign. Then I want to add in two filament slices, one for color change, one for the TPU. So move it up to the other layer and then I'm moving around but just trying to work out exactly where you want to be. Then, okay. And hit the plus. And then I go up and make sure that I've got a couple of layers of the TPU above and I've got the edge. There we go. And then you can print. Make sure you change the filaments when required and adjust any print temperatures and speed accordingly. And then you should have your final object.